Now, the most memorable game I've ever played. Um, I can remember quite a lot of it, but some of it is still in the in 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 the mists of time and mystery. Will never be brought back. It was at Deeply Vale Free Festival in 19. I can't remember when it was. It was a long, long time ago, anyway. And we were supporting Steve Hillage on the main stage there. And I remember playing uh, just before Steve Village came on, and I was under the influence of, uh, of uh, drugs, my friend. Which is not good, I don't condone it to anybody, don't do it. But, um, uh, but at the time, um, and I remember being frightened, it took me about half an hour to get off stage because the river at the back of the stage there was going to come up and get me and the trees were about to attack me and all that, so I carry on. It was quiet. But I remember that, that gig and it was great. Um, I had so many amplifiers, I think I had six orange 120 watt amplifiers on stage. And as I played, my flares were flapping in the breeze. Uh, with the volume, it was a, it was a, a great experience. But I think it was the whole occasion, you know, because it was free. It was a bit sort of edgy because the police didn't want it to happen. The farmers, didn't, no, nobody wanted it to happen, you know. Um, but it was um, a great. There was a lot of people there. I can't remember it, five or six thousand people. So it was great, you know, really nice. That's a tough one. Gigging and recording, completely different sort of thing. You're still skiing but one's on the snow and one's on the water, you know? And um, the thing in the studio is that I love it because I love the excitement of being able to record stuff. Um, and also the disappointment of, you know, thinking you've done something great and it sounds absolutely shit, you know, when it's finished. Or, you know, after you've done a take or whatever. Um, live is similar, but, I, but it, live, you've only got one take at it, you know? And I'm constantly disappointed with my live performances because I never think that I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I've done as good as I could do from a playing point of view as a tone. I'm hypercritical in the band, you know? So I think when we go out uh, live with the 10-piece band, it's going to be pretty tough in one way, but I think the musicians are, are great enough to be able to sort of uh, carry, not carry me, but to carry the music through and let me relax a bit more about playing and performing. Because in a three-piece, it's quite difficult, you know? You, you know, you're trying to you're trying to uh, entertain the crowd. You're trying to get everything going. You're listening to all the stuff. You're trying to play as well, and that's difficult, you know. So I think that uh, with a ten piece, it's going to be easier. Well, the album's released on the 28th of March, 2011. Um, we're actually doing a launch event at the Centenary Centre in Peel. Uh, so we're launching it in the Alaman, which is, uh, albeit to a um, yeah, an audience of 80,000 people hanging on this rock, which is great. Uh, but then after then, we're looking to tour it into um, the UK and Europe. Um, we're booking uh, festivals as we speak. Um, so we're going to go we're coming to a place near you. Um, and that's it. <laughs>